Hey, boxing fans, I'm Smitty. Welcome to In This Corner TV.com, sponsored by Tecate, Cerveza Con Caracter. We're at Mandalay Bay, where earlier tonight, Amir Khan successfully defended his share of the 140 pound championship against Marcos Maidana. I should say Khan survived and won the fight. Now, early on, it looked like it might be an early night here at Mandalay Bay. Khan put Maidana down in round number one with a left hook to the body. Things looked like it could have been over right then and there, but Maidana bounced back, and in the uh, the mid to later rounds made it a war. Khan survived. He won the unanimous decision. We didn't get a chance to chat with him after the fight. They had to take him off to the uh, hospital. He suffered a lot of punishment, especially later on in the fight. But we did catch up with his trainer, Freddie Roach. Well, Freddie, it looked uh, early like it might be an early night. Yeah, it did. Um, Madonna went down early, and my guy started quick, and uh, it was a good combination. But Madonna is a brave, brave guy. He's had a great chin, and uh, he's, very, he's very resilient. When did things start to turn around, in your opinion? Did, did Amir get off his game plan? Well, in the middle rounds, he started getting off the game plan a little bit and started, started laying on the ropes a little bit too much and uh, he's trying to cover up uh, with the passive defense something some we, we didn't work on. But, uh, you know, so, again, it was a high-pressure fight. It was a very grueling, hard fight. Um, both guys were a little bit fatigued. And uh, I think he got a little fatigued and laid on the ropes a little bit and, and got, got caught a couple of big shots in there. And uh, Madonna is a very brave guy. And, uh, well, and, but... Uh, Amir, I'm, I'm, I'm happy now he lost that jacket that he has no chin because he showed, he showed he does have a chin, but I hope that's the last time he shows me. Yeah, and, you know, his conditioning had to be good because if it wasn't, he might have not made it through without the tremendous conditioning. 100% sure. I, the, the, the condition got him, through, got him through that war for sure. And he even he, he, the 11th and 12th round, he came back well. In uh, show flashes, and the, 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 he closed the show in the 12th round with Lance Flurry. So even though I thought he lost those two rounds, but he still he still fought well. You know what about the, one of the things that I was disappointed in, in him was this type of a rope a dope thing that he was doing or the covering. I know you couldn't have been happy with that. No, the wrong strategy and uh, but uh, you know again when he did that he was a little bit hurt. So um, you know. Uh, something we have to work on. He's, he's still just 24 years old. Yesterday, his birthday, and uh, he's still learning. We still have a long way to go. And uh, again, we've been together for uh, about three years now. And uh, you know, it took me eight years to get Pacquiao to get off the ropes. So, <laughs> and, and to learn how to throw that right hand that uh, that he's that he's done so well. well how, how do you rate this performance? I know you don't like to have life or death struggles, but uh, he, there there had been so much made about his uh, chin because of the Prescott knockout. How do you rate this fight for him? Well, it's a very good fight for him. He fought, he fought the best guy at the 40 pound division, I think, and uh, it was it was a very good 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 experience. Of course, he, it's, it's a fight that he's going to learn a lot, and he's going to take he'll take away a lot from this fight, and uh, it'll give us a lot of a lot of a lot of little things that we that, that make a big difference that we 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 have to work on, and so. Uh, I can't wait to sit down and watch the tape with him and show him his mistakes and where we have to improve. And uh, he's the type of guy who wants to learn to get better all the time, so he'll, he'll, be, he'll be very productive. Is this one where you want to go right back in there against the Maidan, or would you rather take somebody else? Well, what, what, what next for Amir Khan? Well, I'd like to fight the winner of the Alexander Bradley fight and clean up the division first, and then we'll talk about a rematch maybe later on down the line, or maybe move to 147 because... Yeah, you know, making 40 is not a problem right now and so forth. But he's he's a big kid, and he, I think he, I, I think he can be even better at 47. So overall, you're you're pleased with his performance. You you would like to have obviously not had the life or death uh, struggle when, when he was in the worst possible moment of that fight. Uh, I was at ringside, so I didn't get to hear. What, what what did you say to him? And how did he react? Well, you know, I told him, I made sure he's okay first. Uh, and the thing is, I wanted to see how he responded because I, it had crossed my mind to stop the fight at that time after the 10th round. If he didn't respond to me like he did, I would have stopped the fight. But he was clear. He understood what I said. He answered me well. So, it's, you know, um, but if he hadn't done that, I would have stopped the fight right, right, right there And because, you know, he was hurt pretty bad. But the thing is, he was clear in the 11th round. He came back. Get on, I told him, get, get, get on your bike and use those legs. I said, all you do is stay on your feet for two rounds. You win the fight. I had him winning by two two uh, points, so I did think he won the fight. Now you said, I think you told me the other day you're off to the Philippines to talk to that guy named Manny. Tomorrow I'm going to I'm going to talk to him and see him uh, going to his birthday party. 
Can you find a way to make this damn Mayweather fight? Yeah, you get me ready to show up. <laughs> All right, we'll do it. Hey, uh, I wish you uh, the best of uh, best of luck. Another great year for Freddie Roach. Uh, Merry Christmas, my friend. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. So Freddie Roach, obviously happy with the performance, especially the fact that Khan survived and, and won the fight. And actually, uh, maybe this life or death struggle was good. So much had been made about Khan's one blemish, the first round knockout loss to Prescott earlier in his career. But this time, he showed he not only has a chin, but he has tremendous heart and resiliency. And he held on to win a fight that really, I think, he made too difficult. Khan should have continued to box as he was doing early on. More utilization of the uh, left jab. Should have gone back to that body, that, uh, that body shot that put Maidana down in round number one. But you know what? It's a learning experience. Maidana is a tremendous opponent. He would be tough for anybody. Speaking of anybody, there's a plethora of great fights for Amir Khan at 140 pounds. Timothy Bradley, he takes on Devin Alexander next month. That'll be a great one. Uh, Pacquiao could come ba back to that division. Again, there's just so much talent at 140 pounds. What about a rematch? Would you all like to see that? I think everybody would. For InThisCornerTV.com, I'm Smitty.